Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And y'all, 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 guess what? I went to work. <laughs> I was at work and one of my family members from YouTube sent me a text message and was like, girl, you won't believe it. You just won't believe it. And I'm like, okay. So I opened up her attachment and Lord have mercy. I said, look a here, look a here. What have we done to this person? And that's his wife y'all now we couldn't find no pictures of this woman now she gonna come out the woodwork and just make herself visible and i'm like you have to wonder are they in cahoots with one another you know what i'm saying that was my first thing well i already knew that he didn't mean nene no good even though to this day at this very hour nene still probably messing with that man but any man that's going to cost me a hundred grand, they ain't worth it, baby. They ain't worth it. Girl, got to work. And they said his wife, not you, Nene, okay? His wife. She may be estranged, Nene, but his wife. He may be lying to you, Nene. Saying everything but what he need to be saying. Like when is he going to get a divorce from his wife. You see where I got that? The key word. The big denominator there is his wife. Now I know. I know. I know. You get lonely sometimes. And you want some companionship. Well baby girl. What I need to tell you is get a dog. Okay. Get a resourceful affectionate pet or well, hell get you a goldfish all right either way it costs less than shelling out a hundred grand okay this man has cost you a hundred grand or oh, woes okay and it just it's just very peculiar because i'm like if he did tell you that hey I'm legally separated. Then you should have been taking your ass to see where that legal paperwork, legal separated paperwork is. Because this woman is gunning for 100K or more. Now, how would she know that you are actually worth 100K or more? Have you been running your mouth, Nene, to this man you just met from Mr. Peter Thomas, who probably still ain't forgot that you call him a bitch, okay? When he was married to Cynthia, and y'all was at, I don't forgot what party y'all was at, where you at your house, where you at uh, Cynthia's house, I can't remember where you were, but Peter was just getting a little bit into people's business, like woman's business. And you had to tell him he was acting like an itch. Yes, he was. So I'm like, is he a part of the grand setup, girl? Because I don't care how much he may be good in the bed. He just good to look at. He just suave with his words, his charismatic ways. Guess what? You pay a hundred grand for all of that, a little of that, of a man. Okay? The man never kisses you. And I saw one video out of all the time that y'all call yourselves dating or being with each other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. One picture that I saw recently that you kissed him or he kissed you from 
on sight of knowing who this man was and you introduced him into your world girl we saw no affection toward this man for you now maybe you're getting tired of nene and maybe you told your ex-wife to let's go on and get this trick taken care of because i'm getting tired of being with her this that and the third and y'all came out of everywhere because we know nene loves that social media and to this day she is still loving that social media calling herself i don't know what she got herself doing she was over there somewhere getting her makeup done and she was with her makeup artist or whatnot and she was acting like she was just so into this that and the third and people on the live she was doing they kept asking her calling her a uh, man still a husband still a did you hear about you were getting sued uh what are you gonna do about that lawsuit with that ex-wife i mean well uh legally still married wife but exchange wife i guess we could say it like that and she was asking everybody questions that were asking about the lounge her food at the lounge she was asking those questions but she saw what the temperature was reading on that uh live she was doing she knew what the temperature was reading meaning it's 100 plus baby it's going into hades type of temperature how it's supposed to be in hell that you be one water and you won't even get a taste of it a remembrance of it are you in shock that's what i want to know nene are you in shock because i don't care how much money you had from greg's uh demise or whatnot for your insurance on him i don't care how much money you plan to be getting from your lawsuit baby you got a snake in the grass you got a snake in the grass and ready to bite 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 your butt send you back to no look no truck okay girl how did you let this casanova when a pretty little soft slippers got estranged for his wifey and hooked up with you hmm hooked up with you and you say greg gave you permission well technically Technically, when a person is dead or on their deathbed, it really doesn't matter what they want, what they feel, how they want it. Because you're going to do what you want to do. Okay, now, that's just human nature to wish your spouse farewell and to tell them to go on and do what they need to do to make themselves happy. Thank you for the ride. It's been a wonderful uh, ride of my life. It's ending, and I want you to go and be who you want to be with whoever you want. I don't think Red had that speech with you not that you go seek it out before his breath come out his body all right but you led us to believe that hey greg was okay with you seeing this naomi this scammer of a man allegedly because i didn't like him from the first part because he showed you no affection no type of adoration he was feeling for you not nothing do you understand what i'm saying you were putting all in the work knee Nee, you were putting in work trying to get this man to show you some type of affection but now i see why i see why he did not want to get real comfy and cozy with you didn't want to just grab you up and plant one long big one on you because the man was married still and he probably more than likely knew they were going to get evidence on you portraying that yes he's my boyfriend yes i'm gonna take him to paris france italy we're gonna go to africa just spending dropping all this money lord knows you probably bought him a lot of gifts from the places that you call yourself going to then went to las vegas to neo's wedding of all places this man has infiltrated your life your network of people and he's getting clients off of you so i don't know how much his ensemble costs his clothes he sells for <sighs> but the wife is getting a hundred grand possibly from you and then he's i wouldn't say stole your contacts but you introduced him to all of your well-off friends or associates to where they can come 
and buy their special design suits from him. I mean, you open up another whole revenue for him. You gave him another whole passage that he wasn't privy of until he met you. You see where we're going with it? Nay, nay. If you don't know it by now, I guess you would never know, honey. You only had one good man and quiet as this kept a lot of something going to speak it out now. You stole that man or that woman from Greg. Wait a minute. You stole Greg from his um, only wife, maybe, or la uh, last to have married wife. I don't know how many times Greg been married, but we know you crept out the door. You creep, 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 creep. And my Luther voice. Vandross voice. You creeped out with somebody else's husband. And the old tale is how you get them is how you're going to lose them. Lord knows Portia need to be taking a look. Need to be calling you on the telephone trying to get the scoop. Because the same shit might happen to her. Y'all better check these little seven states they're saying I did. Research a little bit. I know California is one of them. Texas is one of them. Uh, then you got carolina florida is one of them i couldn't find the other ones but yes it's the technical terms that they use but mental distress all these little keywords she is dropping down in her civil lawsuit child please and you're known you better watch out portion because you're gonna be next more than likely i ain't gonna say all african men or scammers, not going to say that at all. Because I met a, a few nice ones, you know. That just like family, they love on family. And they just want to live the American dream, okay. But that one right there. They be wearing them sl uh, soft plush slippers. We are already questioning that already. And then, well he could go both ways to tell you the truth. But then you loving on a man that's costing you a hundred grand and you're not even married to him? Girl, and you have a nerve to pit perch up your lips and tell Kim Zoziak to close her legs to marry me, girl. We got to do, we must do another video on her probably clowning your ass all up and down her walkway or in her house. Just clown your ass. And she might even call you. <laughs> just to see how you doing. But not really wanting to see how you were doing. Just to get the tea on you boo. Now ain't that calling the. The women. The kettle calling the pot black. Or is it, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black. Hell y'all know where I'm going with it. Okay. Because it's a goddamn shame. That you can have so much money. So much time on your hands. And yet, you still get bamboozled, who went and totally decimated. How can you let that man, that woman, come in and sneak a peek, peekaboo, take 10, well, 100,000 away from you? Or in the process, I should say. In the process. I'm like, Nene, you're so smart to where you're dumb. You're so smart to where you're dumb, girl. I'm like, do you not know anybody that's not Liberian or, or, or African? You could not talk to some people and put two and two together. But I guess <coughs> he was good in the bed and you were concerned about the dick. I don't know. Okay. We know he's a nice dresser. Don't care too much for those skinny suits. <laughs> but it is what it is. But Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Stop up, Jaden. <laughs> TMZ brought the story out on us this morning. And lo and behold, I was shocked to hear it. I was shocked and surprised. But I think I was more shocked and surprised than what you knew. I don't know. Did Naomi tell you his estranged wife was going to sue you and he was dropping tea before it hit the streets of Atlanta? Before it hit the social media website and every blogger and news channel picked it up girl even our newspaper down here Atlanta Journal Constitution wrote you up Nene wrote you up but let's get into what TMZ said
they're exclusive because they brought it out. They was the first person that we know was on on the spot. I mean, we got paparazzi here in Atlanta. I'm telling you, they be going strong. They be sitting there watching celebrities day in and day out, hoping, wishing, praying that they do something that's scandalous, okay? Marvelous. That they can report back to their home base, which is TMZ, Harley Levin. You know, <laughs> this is what it is, okay? But we go into it. Okay, it says Nene Leaks. Sued by boyfriend's wife. You stole my husband, she's claiming. All right. Nene Leaks is being hauled into court by her boyfriend's wife for allegedly sleeping with her man, causing her marriage to collapse. This according to new legal documents. Like, who ideal was to sit to film everywhere, every outing that you and Scammer Man, okay, wanted to partake of? Who were doing the filming? I'm pretty sure he was doing the filming. And he made you sure you put everything on camera for his wife, yes, to claim in court. But going back to the uh, article, we're going to call her Mayo. Because I don't want to mispronounce her name. People take it very personal when you do that. So we'll just shorten it up. We'll just call her Mayo. Okay, claims in a lawsuit obtained by TMZ, Nene, and now boyfriend, Scammer Man, hooked up while he was still married to her. Okay, Mayo says Nene posted pictures after pictures of her new, of her and her new man humiliating Mayo and cratering her relationship with her husband. Okay. Mal claims she suffered emotional distress. That's a lawyer word. <laughs> well, I want some money for my pain and suffering. Mental anguish and a loss of affection. So, was a uh, scammer man sneaking back, getting his goodies rocked off? Nee, nee. When he wasn't with you, was he with her trying to satisfy her so she can keep her mouth shut? So he could continue to live the lie. Not life. The lie. Of being somewhat single and the wife being okay with it. Well, that, that's not true because she's suing the hell out of you, Nene. She's suing the hell out of you. And what I've heard, it's for more than, if she can get it, it's for more than 100K than what they first reported. But she's claiming mental anguish, emotional distress, and a loss of affection. In case you're wondering, North Carolina is one of the seven states where a person can sue a spouse, extramarital partner for alienation of affection. Most states have disallowed such suits because it's really just the game of love. Mal is gunning for more than 100K. Nene is no stranger to lawsuits. As we reported, she recently accused the Real Housewives team of being a toxic workplace. She claimed the show ignored her complaints about years of racist remarks hurled her way by fellow cast member Kim Zosiek Beerman. We reached out to Nene so far. No word back. I'm like, where is your team? That's the first thing I saw. Or oh, I thought about when I heard this was happening to you. i like, where is her team? Where is her PR People don't know what PR means. It's public relations person who go out there and put the hot fires out on said subject. They're supposed to go out there, make amends, make it seem lesser than what they trying to, you know, sensationalize it to be. Where is your team, Nene? Where is your team, girl? But evidently somebody done told you don't say nothing. Let them speculate. Let them bring all what they want to bring and say. Let them all fly. Don't you say nothing. Okay. And she not even looking scared y'all. Just saw her on her live. Where she was getting her makeup done. By a makeup artist. And we really thought she was going to break down and tell us what's the true tea. Coming from her mouth to our ears. But she has said nothing about this man. This scammer man. Shabba. Scammer man, shabba, Mr. Scammer man, shabba, shabba, squeaker, squeaker, squeak. 
y'all see I did that? <laughs> I'm scratching. Make it like I got a mixtape going on here. But I'm telling y'all, I'm coming back for more. We're going to dissect this thing at least 10 different ways, 10 different speculations of how this can go. And who need, he need to go back and apologize to for showing her ass way back when to Kim Zosiak. And what is she doing? Spreading it low. Well, we're dropping it low and spreading it wide. That's what she's doing for a married man. And man, so she ain't tell you you can have her husband because legally she's on paper as the wife. Okay? Meaning if he died today, she probably get all his money. Okay? Especially if she was like retired. You know, she's in her 60s or 70s. She could get his money from that. What would you get in any nothing? Why would you want to be somebody's second choice and you're their first choice? No. How did I, did I say that right? How you going to be? You, go, you were making him your first choice, but he's making you his fourth choice. You see what I'm saying? His fourth or whenever he feel like he need to be with you. An afterthought. That's what he's doing to you, Nene. And I can't even play in the field of you're still grieving. You're making irrational decisions. Because, honey, when you sat there and caught yourself wanting to sue NBC Universal and all the parent companies to that. <laughs> I knew you had lost your mind. Okay. I knew you had lost your mind, but if there isn't anything to be gotten from this, you can best believe they are working it out and seeing uh, how much they are willing to you uh, willing to use. I mean, winning, willing to lose versus what you're asking for. You see what I'm saying? Because even Mariah with Merit and Medicine, she's not talking about it no more because they're probably giving her near. Or all what she wants. And they don't. They wanted to go away. But I'm sure she signed some MDAs. Non-disclosure agreement contracts. That she can't say nothing. Or everything will be dissolved. Of what they called themselves. Making an amicable deal. Between the two parties. You see what I'm saying. But I personally just don't see. How you could possibly. Possibly. Still. Have this man near you. Around you. By you. For the life of me. I can't see why. Because I looked on your Instagram account girl. You still got one picture up there. You still got one picture. I'm like why is it here? Why is it there? Why is it there? Because he ain't got you on his at all. At all. But you still got one picture of him. And he's costing you 100000 Are you listening Portia? Because this might be you, baby girl. You just might be ass out. He ain't going to leave you nothing. He ain't going to give you nothing. going to take everything back. You're going to be back to square one. So we ain't going to put you in any case. We're not going to put you there. Not, nope. Mm -mm. We're going to do it right now. Because your, your whole thing is fucked up too. Effed up from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. But you ain't going to get nobody like Greg no more. Because see, Greg was wrong if we need to talk. We don't really want to put... Uh, Say anything bad about the dead, the deceased, but we gotta call a spade a spade. Greg left his wife for you, Nene. Yes, he did. But this scammer man, mm -mm. you might see him as Mr. Lover Man, Shaba, but I see him as Mr. Scammer Man, Shaba Shaba. Okay, girl, you fifty four. You're fifty four years old and still. Don't have a clue. You couldn't even buy a clue if they put it up for sale. Because ain't no dick worth that. Ain't no Nigerian lover man as you may see him worth that. Ah, ah, nope. Ah, mm, ah. I can't even think straight. A hundred thousand coming up my account and I didn't blow it or how I wanted to blow it. I got to give it to your ex-wife. Like, baby, the dick ain't that good. You ain't that good. You could be replaced any time. How, how Beyonce said you're irreplaceable. Yes, honey, you will be. You will already be replaced, cause you ain't gonna give me no headache. I already got headaches trying to deal with Bravo and they parent companies and all this. I'm sitting up here on took you on luxury trips. Okay, can we call them out? Yes, we can. Las Vegas, Africa, and then France, Paris, France. Are you kidding me? And all of us on my dime, I'm assuming don't really know, but it sounds good. So, I'm going to keep up with this storyline. Okay, people? Thank you. 
You foot the bill for every last thing. And then, girl, I'm like, honey, come from that town. Well, you live in some kind of ritzy thing downtown. Girl, you need to come on out of there because you ain't going to be able to afford this. Because that woman coming for you once, she may come for you two and three more times. Okay? And how we know, because what I've heard was now, he took the wife that's suing you for the 100K, he took her on a birthday celebration to Paris. Now, what kind of shit is that? You spend money on scammer man, the scammer man spend money on his wife. I mean, is it a threesome going on? Is it, 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 it's an open thing y'all got going on? Uh, do they have an open marriage? But then if they had an open marriage, she wouldn't be suing, suing you, Nene. Because I'm like, why would she just sue you? Why she don't sue both of y'all and just get it out of her system? Mainly because they may be in cahoots to set you up to bring out this bullshit. And now what you're looking at, like Aunt Bertha said. <laughs> Bam. Uh-huh. They let Peter use you to get you interested in this man. So they could come up and conspire against you. But you never would have saw it coming. And that's me throwing up my hands and spinning in the chair. And doing that like. You're right. <laughs> See, I miss my birthday day about talk coming up with the bullshit. Woo, child, honey. You just can't make this shit up. You just can't make this shit up. I mean, are you that desperate? Are you that lonely, Nene? Are you that dissatisfied with life that you got to buy a man, literally? Literally. And is it double jeopardy? Can she come back with the same thing that you're causing her more and more distress? Or is it that one-time shop thing? I mean, or can somebody else come back? <laughs> I mean, how how many um wives did scammer man have? Cause maybe the other wife could come out. But I'm like, mm mm. Only way it would be a cool deal, and it really wouldn't be cool at all. Uh, scammer man had to come up fifty grand and pay her, so I won't be out but fifty grand. Then you need to go on and get your divorce, okay? Cause if she coming out like this, why you ain't going to get your divorce now? Just as quick as she came, firing, just trying to gather, gather all her evidence of what she had to see uh, out there that you were doing in public with her husband and this, that, and the third. Then, guess what? Scammer man needs to go and file in North Carolina or in Atlanta. However she get the papers, she get the papers. There should not be no hold up. If she's doing all this calculation and calculating the relationship. And that I've caused her emotional distress. What about you caused her emotional distress? It's you that came to Nene with the bullshit. Or I could say Peter brought both of y'all to the bullshit. Because Nene, you shouldn't have been messing with him because you knew he was married. If he's telling you he's trying to get out of his marriage but it's a difficult situation, you should have left that nigga there right there. You should have left him there and said, okay, I'm going to let you figure it out. But I'm going over here and live my life. So you be stuck with that mess. But I'm on. Okay, because, hey, I got out of mind. I divorced my, I, I ended up marrying him again, but it, it's just the fact is. That shit can really happen, Nene. If you did it to Greg, which I think you did it because it was uh, some, some tax stuff going on, some back taxes that need to be paid and all that, and then some. Yeah, child. But, y'all, I'm, I'm not through with this story. I got about nine more slides. I can slide on this story with Nene. Going to everybody she attacked. Saying they were lowered in dirt by messing with married men. And look, look at, look at, look at who comes cooking. They're going to be paying for a married man a hundred grand. And then it's not even necessarily that. It's probably a little bit more than that. Because in the thing TMZ said, they saying more than a hundred grand. So it just depends on what the law speculates or dictates this is the amount of money you can get because i'm looking at it as a civil case but it might be criminal in the fact that she's causing or she's using as her baseline for the suit to be emotional distress <laughs> i'm like girl if she don't get out of here and you don't send scam a man with her you're doing a disservice to yourself baby girl you're doing a disservice to yourself but that's all I have tonight for this story. But you know I will be back. Because we just have to dissect this until we can't dissect it no more. Alright people. I'll see y'all next time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Show your girls some love that way. And make sure you like and share my videos. Alright peace out guys.